Hey Leo, welcome back to Distilled Tarot. My name is Shannon. I'll be guiding you through today's reading. This is going to be our daily reading for Wednesday, January 20th. Let's see what's going on with Leo. At the heart of your reading, we have the Eight of Wands reversed. You're holding back on communicating. I feel like this is you. Um, resisting a love relationship. Lovers reversed at the bottom of the deck. You're either holding back communicating that it's over, wanting to keep it alive, not wanting to acknowledge that it's over, or if it doesn't exist yet, you're restraining yourself from connecting with the person. Why is Leo challenged in this regard? King of Wands, because you say so. You've decided that this is the way you want things to be right now. Okay. What is Leo focused on? There's a lot of passion. You're feeling a lot of passion but you're not directing it toward your person of interest. What has Leo's attention right now, please? Once more and I'll take the top card. Thank you. Four of Wands reversed. We could be talking about a divorce here. You might still have passion for your ex and that's why you're not communicating it with them. If that's not your story, the Four of Wands reversed can also mean um, lack of a des desire to commit. Not necessarily fear of commitment, because I feel like you're operating from a place of power. There are just too many unknowns here. With the moon showing up at the bottom of the deck, it's like, um, well, where would this lead? Would this require a commitment from me? Okay, well, what I've decided right now is I'm, I feel the passion, sure, but uh, I'm not going to act on it. I'm not going to give this any sort of momentum. You're avoiding a certain benchmark of commitment because you know that that would create an energetic structure in your life. Like, right now there are a lot of possibilities in front of you. And if you communicate this strong passion that you have for, for this person, you can no longer consider yourself uh, at the precipice of opportunity, you feel like you would be locked into a certain life, a certain outcome. In the recent past, we have a King of Swords. More masculine energy, more strong, fixed energy. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. Fixed fire, fixed air. It's someone who is very intelligent, um, but doesn't, doesn't match your passion necessarily. It's like the way that they're approaching things is very like calculating, very cool. Could be distant, could be aloof. 
the energy of your environment, Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So you are acting in accordance with the vibe that the universe is, is injecting into your universe, into your environment. It's saying um, you can stay on pause. You don't need to walk down every path that appears in front of you. It's like a welcome pause button. It's not like you're not, I'm not getting that you're feeling held back here. You kind of like the, the pause, the, the lack of forward movement. Because whatever happens next, in your view, is going to solidify the future. And it feels like you like having lots of possibilities in front of you. You like the feeling of knowing that this could go anywhere. So you don't feel super keen to start choosing possibilities and eliminating others. Let's see your near future. Seven of Cups. Here you are reveling in the possibilities. It's, it's just... I'm keeping my options open. I'm not choosing any one of these cups. I, it, it feels very like, um, like Julie Andrews in The Sound of Music, but instead of her like enjoying music on a mountaintop, it's like, I enjoy all of the possibilities and not having to choose any of them. And this is my beautiful moment of Reveling in the possibilities, reveling in not having to make a choice. Let's see your surprise energy. What is going to influence the situation that Leo does not see coming? Justice reversed. Okay, the other shoe has to land at some point. What's the expression, something needs to come home to roost? I'm not sure the, is it the rooster? Is it the chicken? Is it the crow? I don't know what bird it is. It's the, the energy of like, yes, you're out in the air, you're out in the realm of possibility, but eventually you have to land somewhere. Tell me more about this surprise, because that's pretty vague energy. I want to give you a more concrete, like, how this energy is going to manifest in your existence. Can we tell Leo more about becoming aware of how their situation is imbalanced? Four of Cups reversed. Yeah, it's saying um, you're going to start to recognize that your attitude of focusing on the cups that are in front of you and not on the one that the universe is trying to get you to um, like pull you forward into your future, you're going to start to to shift the way that you're feeling. You're no longer going to be singing on the mountaintop about all the possibilities, but the possibilities are going to start to bore you. And you're just going to start to crave a decision. It could be because the right opportunity comes along. Spirit will, will offer you an Ace of Cups and, and you can decline it. And then later on, Spirit offers you a different Ace of Cups, a different person entering your life. Mm, okay, maybe, maybe not. No, I'm going to keep my options open. Well, something is going to be presented into your life, some new emotional opportunity that's finally going to make you look up and it's going to capture your interest. And that's going to, yeah, you're going to make a decision to bring your life into better balance. 
you you've the pendulum has swung too far or fully not not too far they corrected me the pendulum has swung to the apex of the point of keeping options open and natural progression the pendulum is going to start swinging the other direction the momentum is going to be toward choosing an option and going with it your hopes and fears we have the seven of wands reversed uh, letting down your defenses you like having those defenses in your position of power with the king of wands you can stay behind the drawbridge and your concern is letting the drawbridge down and connecting then you're vulnerable show me the end result how do these energies culminate for leo queen of pentacles okay i feel like this is all leading you to someone who has their own kingdom someone who who doesn't need to invade your territory in order to connect with you i think that's what's going to spark your interest that's what's going to get you to look up from this oh, i'm keeping my options open i'm keeping my options open well someone is going to allow you to keep your options open in some way like yeah okay um that's your world you're behind your defenses you're in your castle i have my own castle over here and maybe we can like um build an empire you can be king of your kingdom i can be queen of my queendom and we can rule a, a greater expanse together show me advice for leo king of swords reversed five of swords reversed the key to unlock your future is to not not need to be right all the time when it would cause a disagreement saying you can avoid arguments you can avoid disagreements if your focus is more on what's practical and what your soul urge is what is your passion telling you what is your gut telling you rather than what is your head telling you it's saying that your your intellectual approach um might be leading to, uh, it might tend to lead you into arguments so it's not saying to put aside your wisdom it's just saying don't lead with that make sure that you blend it with the energy of what's practical and what's um what's prudent and where your desire is the king of swords doesn't act on desire he acts on like calculated facts so the advice being to to take that down a notch and embody more of your fiery nature the passion the drive the motivation that's where your true power is leo i hope this helped have a great rest of your day and i'll see you back tomorrow